I've had some toilet seats that I really don't like because even though they advertise them as being easy to clean, easy to remove, pop back on, I've never found them easy. And I've already replaced one even though I'm still with the hand splint. So I want to show you, I bought a different brand. I brought Bemis at Home Depot. So I want to show you how easy it is to remove. But also I want to show you um, on the Mayfair brand I have, how they have these little switchy things that you're supposed to be able to turn and then pull it off to clean and then pop it back on. But um, the one that I'm working with right now isn't as bad as the other one that I already changed. It was almost always loose on one side and I could not turn those little things. They were permanently like halfway turned. They were never all the way back in place and they were never I could never turn them all the way to get them off and I actually had to use a tool today to just rip the thing off. So let's get started and we'll put on a new one. So I got the toilet seat off and um, I'm going to unscrew these. So there's a thing underneath that, and then this one stays in place, but like I said, I'm dealing with different kind of hand thing. Oh, this one will just come right off. Okay, so I'm going to hold it in place with my right hand and unscrew it with my left. So the box for this Bemis brand says never loosens, all right, and easy clean and change seat removes for easy cleaning. Sure it does. All right, as long as it's easy to put on, it stays where I put it. So this comes in plastic. I've already opened it, and the parts come in here with tiny little instructions, which if you like me, you're going to need your reading glasses to read them. Okay, step one of the instructions is to open these, which is hard to do with one good hand. They come snap together. All right, then flip it over and just don't have them snap together. All right, now then that was step two, flip it over. Step three is you take these things and you pop them into here. So. The first time I did this with the last one, I heard them snap in, and then they came right out later. <laughs> so, it's, again, hard to do with one hand. There we go. Snap and snap. Okay, that was tiny step number three. Tiny step number four is to flip it over again and snap these things back into place. Now we're going over to the toilet. All right, next step is to put these in here. Okay, that was step five. Step six is to take these things and screw them in from underneath with my hand. And they're very long. So, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, there's one more step. And this is step, tiny step number seven. As um, you hold the seat in place, this is where, you know, make sure it's centered. Then you want to take, now, they list some tools. I don't have those tools. I don't even know what those are. Some kind of size. Anyway, I'm just using good old pliers. And um, you're going to tighten these. Now, it says at the end that you break off the bottom piece. I'm not strong enough to do it. It is shaped like a hexagon, but so is the top portion of it. So I did, because it's like, why would I want to break it off? What if I want to remove this toilet seat gets icky someday? I don't want to. 
So now um, I don't have to hold it at the top because it is going to hold, but let me see if I can actually get a shot of this. All right, I know it's really dark. I cannot get a light in here, and you would not believe what I prop my camera up on. Oh, yeah. It's sitting on um, <laughs> my little trash can, but it was still low, so I took my dog's little toothbrush, and it's on top of the dog's toothbrush. Okay, so this part and this part that's connected to it are both hexagonal, so... They're saying to tighten this and then break this piece off. Yeah, I'm not going to break it off. I could if I was stronger, but I'm not going to. So this is where you just want to tighten. And yeah, you know what? Pliers work. They're not as good as something else, but they work. And then you do the other side, and then you're good to go. In the end, it should be really solid. It shouldn't wiggle at these points. So, yay, I did it myself. The reason I do videos like this is because I know that all over the world, there are young people who, for the first time in their life, they're away from home. They're establishing their own home, their own apartment. I remember the second apartment I moved in, the toilet seat was icky and I switched it out right away and there are women out there who are on their own who haven't been on their own for a long time and just knowing how to easily switch out a toilet seat would be a great thing. Now at Home Depot and in this Bemis line they have all different kinds of toilet seats. So toilet seats come in regular round and in more of an oblong. I forget what the word is that they use for it. It's only two sizes but they come in both plastic or in wood. Now I prefer the wood kind, that's just how I roll. And then in the wood kinds, there was also another kind I could have spent a little bit more money and gotten the slow clothes, you know, that don't slam. Those are actually really nice, but I put a toilet lid cover on my toilet lid. So, um, you know, even if somebody slams it down, it doesn't make a loud sound. So those are really nice though. So check it out. Check out in the description box below for links to some other ideas for other toilet seats and check out some of my other videos on home improvement kind of things that even someone like I am <laughs> can fix. You can click one of the links on the right side of your screen or click the little eye in the upper right hand corner. Mouse over it. Click it. You'll find all kinds of other things to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye.